Okay, we have set up here our recirculating timer circuit. Um, over on the right here, we have our master cutoff. Here are the three timers, one, two, and three, actually one, two, and three. Uh, the three indicators that indicate the results of the timing or the processes that we want to control. And then we also have a start and stop button. You'll notice that when we turn on the power here up in the corner, that the timers themselves do energize at that point. Um, that's because we have the timers tied directly to the hot line. You see the black wires are all connected up here to L1 or our hot. Our white wires are all connected to L2, which is our neutral, and the red wires are all interconnecting between them. So in this particular application, we have the hot line going to all of the timer power inputs, which is pin 10 for you technical people on these timers. Uh, so pin two then is the uh, neutral, and you can see that all the neutrals are connected together to L2 as well. Over here, we have our start-stop switch. So uh, once we press that, then we'll start the timing cycle, and we'll see the lights start to time through their uh, their timing. I think it's set to a couple of seconds per light. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. And we see that it sequences through all three lights and comes back to the first light and will continue to go through that sequence uh, until I turn the power off or until something fries. Either one, not sure which. Um, we're using momentary push buttons up here. I can go ahead and press the stop, and when I press the stop, you'll see the little plunger come out on the contactor. There it is. Start. Stop. And what this contactor does is two things. First of all, it sends the power to the control for the timers. Second of all, it acts as a holding relay so that I don't have to sit here and hold the start button down. That doesn't happen automatically. That's a momentary contact switch inside the start button. We use the contactor to latch that switch using, uh, using magnetism to accomplish that. So there you have it. It appears to be quite functional. Everything is working perfectly. And uh, we'll move on to the next project. So later.